Hey everybody, it's Jason with Herco Applications. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple minutes here and go over how you generate diagnostic files for the applications or service groups here to review to help you get through some issues. Um, if you've ever encountered issues with maybe out of travel on a rotary or five axis machine um, and you contacted Herco, most likely you've been sent something like this list here and asked to generate some some files so that we can set up our system here and basically duplicate what you're seeing to be able to help troubleshoot that issue. So what I wanna do is walk through how we generate those diagnostic files. There's just a few uh, specific things we need in order to see the exact same uh, issues or circumstances that you're seeing on your machine. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna need is your part program. And depending on if you're running a conversational program or a G-code program, what you're gonna send us is gonna differ just very slightly. Uh, if you're running a conversational program, just go ahead and save that program to a USB key, uh, go over to email and email that over to us. That's gonna give you everything, or that's gonna give us everything we need to see what you're doing. That's gonna have your part set up, tool set up, all your parameters, those kind of things. Those are all saved with a conversational program. Uh, if you are running a G-code program, however, we're going to need one additional file to be able to get all that same information. And that is an NC states file. So in order to generate an NC states file, you're going to press the input button on your machine. Since I'm working on my desktop software here, I'm going to hit the input icon. Uh, once you do that, <clears throat> you should see the import slash export functions. Uh, when we go in here, you're going to see options to export NC state to file. I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to go find the USB key, and I'm just going to go ahead and save off an NC state file. Uh, you want to try to give this a name that will help us uh, know who it belongs to, either a company name, a machine type, or something like that that, uh, that we'll be able to reference. So I'm just going to say... Uh, Let's call this VM10 UI NC state. We'll go ahead and export that. So now I've saved that NC states file to my USB key. That could be emailed along with your G code program. And now we'll have your, your part tool set up and any variables or anything that may have been used in that uh, NC program. So two very useful pieces of information there. Uh, something else you may be asked to send in is a machine backup. This is particularly helpful with five axis and rotary machines. This allows us to set up our desktop software exactly as your machine. So we should be able to see the exact same errors or issues that you are seeing. Uh, so to do this, <clears throat> you're first gonna go ahead and press your auxiliary button and then go into your utility screen. And once you get to that screen, you're gonna see system configuration and towards the bottom in F6, you're gonna see backup, config, and machine files. Go ahead and select that. Again, you're gonna go find your USB key. Um, and in here, you're gonna see a create directory. I will typically start off there. I'm gonna go ahead and say create directory. And let's say that uh, we're getting ready to set up for a VM 10 UI. And I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna put Herco after this so we have a, a company name associated with it. So you can see we have VM10UI Herco that just created that folder on my USB key for me. I am now gonna select that folder and tell it to backup files. This will typically take just a few seconds. And basically this is going to back up all the parameters in your machine so that we can load them into our desktop software and simulate just as though we are sitting on your machine. Um, you, once it's done, you will get this message. It says the backup was complete. Just go ahead and say okay to that. Uh, there's one additional thing I'll typically do with a machine backup. They can be a little bit of a, a larger file. So usually I'll go down, find my USB key. <clears throat> And you can see here's that VM10 UI Herco. If I open that up, you can see we're gonna have a couple folders. And if I keep going, we're gonna have just a whole bunch of uh, folders and files in there. <clears throat> so what I will typically do is highlight that machine backup, that folder that you created, 
And if you right click on that, you can go down and tell it to send to compress zipped folder. Go ahead and select that and it'll usually give you the name of the folder that you have. So just go ahead and hit enter. That has now compressed those down to make them a little bit easier to email over. Um, you can also add to this folder if you choose to. Um, you know, let's say that I wanted to send that NC State file that I generated earlier. I could just go ahead and grab that file and drag and put it right in that zip file as well. So if I open this up, you'll notice it now has that NC State as well. So you can put all the files right in that, that zip folder, which helps keep everything together and makes it easy to uh, mail over to us at Herco. Uh, one other piece of information that is uh, usually helpful for us is a user preference file. Uh, this is an area that not many operators are used to going into, but occasionally there can be some settings in there that may change the way your machine behaves. So to do this, again, go ahead and start by pressing your auxiliary key or your auxiliary button. We'll go into utility screen. <clears throat> We'll go into user preferences. And you'll notice that when you're in this user preferences area, we have these three big buttons in the middle of the screen. Uh, what we're looking for here is export user preferences. We'll go ahead and select that. And again, it's gonna create this file for us. Again, we'll just give it a name so that whoever is receiving it, Herco will know who it belongs to. And then we'll go ahead and export those user preferences. Uh, this will not only give us our, or this will also give us our machine parameters to go along with all the information that we've already sent. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, we should now have everything we need to uh, be able to set up our desktop software, uh, just like the machine you're you're sitting at. Uh, this will help us to troubleshoot any issues that you may be seeing. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to give us a call. Thanks for watching.